What's up, Brainswin here, Brainswin.com, a training log video with commentary. This is week four, Conjugate Monster programming. Um, pretty decent week of training. Nothing too crazy or different than what I've been doing. Just changing some bars around, some different variations. I'm um, trying to keep training fun. feel like I'm making some pretty good progress um, overall in terms of not only my lifts, uh, but my physique and all that kind of stuff as well. So, um, Max effort lower day, just three real short clips. Um, top set on the yoke bar against three chains. Uh, it was three plates per side uh, for a set of five. Pretty pleased with this. Uh, it was a five pound PR and I just sh shut it down there. Um, and then I had a back down set and CJ was dancing in front of it, but that's all right. Um, for some extra hypertrophy work. And then um, had some front squat, pause squats um, as well. So I tried to get out there a little earlier to use safety squat bar because CJ needed to use the competition bar. So that's why I decided to front squat with them as my supplemental movement, but get my main stuff out of the way um, and, and try to, to do what I could do to uh, help speed things along for everybody else. Um, overall, pretty solid uh, lower body day. Um, it's nice to see that my squat and everything is still holding on pretty strong. Um, given all the different training variables and uh, nutrition variables I'm being thrown at it. So, nutrition's still going well, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. But, um, these front squat, pause squats are never one of my favorite things to do. Um, I hadn't done them in a while. I felt like it was a good uh, supplemental movement for the safety squat bar to help build my mid back up. Also, kind of hit my quads a little bit, um, and also get some ab work out of it as well. Knees are going forward pretty far in these flat soled shoes, but I've got some pretty good ankle mobility. Um, so that's not too terrible. It's not where I'd like to see it. I probably should have put some weightlifting shoes on, but it's all right. Um, then for max effort upper day uh, on Sunday, we run with the fat bar against the chains. So even the week before we did some floor press against chains. So kind of similar, just uh, mixing things up a little bit. I'm um, trying to get a full range of press now. And, uh, Try to still get some good overload. I was pretty happy with what I hit. I managed to hit a PR um, at 260 for five plus the chains. Who knows if I was good for anything more? I kind of felt like I wanted to go 265, but I told myself, you know, my, my goal right now is not to get ridiculously strong. My goal is just to um, maintain my strength, try to build a little bit of muscle, and then um, as Cliff starts dieting me down, get leaner. So, trying to still hit some movements, but then looking at muscular work, uh, you know, for everything else. And emphasis kind of changes a little bit. So, I'm still maintaining most of my lifts, um, at least from an off season standpoint. You know, I'm not peaking, I'm not pushing, I'm changing a lot of different variables. So it's hard to tell where I'm at. But if things are getting better, I'm hitting personal bests on lifts. Uh, it's all good. Kind of stalled out there on that close grip for 255. I think I was going for uh, a new 10 rep PR because I was feeling pretty good and I just missed it. Um, so um, that's all right. There was a, the chains and the uh, benching probably had some pre-exhaustion. Then, considering where I missed that, I decided you know I'm gonna do some two board work um, and then do a strip set for the bodybuilding aspect of it. So I did two sets of eight uh, with two plates and a close grip and two boards, which actually almost felt harder than actually just close grip benching it. Um, close grip two board is something that always kicks my butt. It always has. Um, so I decided to run with that and then hit a drop set here on the last one. So basically go two plates, quarter, and then a plate and just fry my triceps considering this is mainly a tricep day. Um, so it, it's basically, you know, the split for this day is essentially a power lifter power lifting bench press day and then immediately moving into some heavy triceps and a little bit of upper back as I feel. Uh, I need to just try to keep my shoulders healthy and balanced. Um, and then, you know, I've got chest and shoulder day, which is actually done at the rec. And then I've got uh, my speed bench day, which is a little bit more pressing volume, but then it's more emphasized on my back. So I'm technically getting some pressing in three days a week. Um, but, you know, the emphasis of that pressing changes um, per session, and so does the intensity and the volume. And that's, that's by design, um, based upon my goals and everything. So this was pretty fun. If you ever get a chance to hit some drops up on some boards, you can either drop the, or uh, increase the board height, or drop the weights, or drop the chains, or you know, put some reverse bands on to knock out a few more. There's a couple different ways you can do it. I really like board work uh, for drop sets and stuff. Cause it's relatively safe because um, you're not going all the way down to the chest, so you're uh, keeping those pecs good healthy. Uh, new, new way of speed work on um, the squats. Run with the yoke bar and the average bands in a box. Um, pretty lightweight the first week for the 12 doubles at 170. Um, this bar always gets, kicks my butt. 
um, and so the percentages are the same, but the, my max on this bar is not nearly as high as with a straight bar or a cambered bar, so my actual bar weight is pretty pretty light. Um, in terms of band tension, I'm really kind of between probably the light and the averages, um, but the averages just make it a lot easier to load, and I'm pretty short, so um, I do get a fair amount of tension out of these and a pretty good contrast. It's estimated to be about 115 to 120 pounds of band tension at the top. Um, tried to measure it out and figure it out before, and it, it came out to about uh, 60 per band, I think, is what we measured. But um, who knows? I just know that it's about where it should be because they look really good and fast, and there's a good contrast. So 12 doubles is a lot, um, but you know it waves um, every week as it always has. Uh, I feel like I'm doing a good job of sitting back and get some tricep work in. So this was also an intensity-based day. So after the 12 doubles. The goal is to work up um, towards a top set of eight with the bands on. Um, I did not have a any kind of like rep effort or anything for this movement for me to track like PRs with. So um, basically everything I got was PRs. So I was kind of feeling things out for the day. Um, end up getting up to 265 for eight uh, with the bands on. So I felt I was pretty happy with this, um, and I thought I did a pretty good job of maintaining good torso position, driving my head up off the box, get my knees out, uh, given the weight that's not only on the bar, um, but the amount of reps and then the pre-exhaustion from all the speed work. So um, pretty pleased with this. We can see some improvement over the next couple weeks, but um, the key thing is it's letting me stay healthy and let me keep training my squat. And my quads actually got a pretty good pump out of this from the high bar position of this bar. Um, then had some deadlift things since it was a maximal day. Pulling off uh, three mats and uh, four chains got up to this 445 for five, which was an all-time PR, and that looked actually pretty easy. Like I had some in the tank, but shut it down early. And then I also had some pin pulls against quad light bands. Uh, for up to the top set of eight. So I did sets of eight, so I did the, ba the bar and the bands, and I had a quarter, and I had a plate, and I had a quarter, and I had a plate, and up to this. So my hand things were fried by the time I got to this one. Um, who knows what the band tension is? I'm obviously using a really shitty bar uh, that I got this. It's specifically just for rack pulls to put the shit out of. Um, so I was pretty happy with this. Um, I felt a really, really, really good glute contraction out of this, and it was a little bit different. Um, stimulus, but also still addressing some weak points in my deadlifting and my glutes. That's one thing my coach wanted me to kind of work on was uh, make sure I had some good glute squeezes and contractions on some of my lower body work if I could. Um, speed work, went with the straight bar for this week and some chains. Um, basically the goal here was just kind of get used to the competition lift again a bit, but keep my shoulders healthy. So I didn't want to use bands, want to stick with chains to keep them feeling pretty good. Uh, I felt pretty pretty quick, I thought. Um, I think I'm a little bit all over the place with my feet and such, um, but as a whole, I felt like I'm, I'm doing alright for where I'm at, um, with you know, no direct meat picked out at this time, um, at least that I'm ramping up for anytime soon. So, you know, I got like six months before <clears throat> I'm probably on the platform again, um, and just trying to stay focused on what my main goal is at the, at the current time. Um, I did work up on close grip with this, and it did kick my butt. Um, I got up to, um, I think it was 215 for a set of 8, and then I rest paused it for 3 reps um, to get a total of 11. My PR that I was going for was 10. Um, 8 was just a rep off of being a PR. So um, I decided that you know, I would just rest pause it. Um, I also looked back at the date of when I hit my rep PR with this, and it was when I was getting ready for a world, so I was peaked and in prime condition and all that kind of stuff, so that makes a little bit of sense that uh, why I didn't get it. Um, you know, I'm not peaking right now. I'm also training my body three days a week, and chest and triceps was two days before this. Chest, shoulders, and triceps was two days before this. So there were a lot of different factors coming in uh, to me probably not hitting this, and I also didn't have a spot or a lift off. You know, I, I just felt like it was best if I just hit the eight, take some rest pause, and try to grind out anywhere from two to four more reps um, to get that stimulus that I was looking for, um, even though I didn't get a PR, and I felt good enough that I was able to do that without risking feeling like I was going to destroy myself. Um, and then I did some drop down for sets of 20 uh, with 135. Um, not 
the last set, which is the one I filmed, towards the end, it started to really catch up to me. I got a really good peck pump out of it. Triceps felt pretty good. Uh, I really kind of liked doing this for the bodybuilding stuff. I think it's a good way for me to get in that extra pressing volume for the chest and triceps and shoulders um, without destroying myself in the process, uh, but also kind of get some good grooving in for my bench press. And then some weighted pull-ups got pretty heavy on this day. Just tried to get up to a really good top set and then strip the weight and kind of keep going and blow the lads up before I hit on some of the uh, extra work that I had planned for the day. So um, pull-ups and stuff felt pretty good. Um, I've, I've always advocated for doing pull-ups and training programs, but um, I feel like they're getting better despite me even actually weighing more and um, having a back day um, technically on Monday. So I mean, it's a little bit ways out, but um, still that extra stimulus um, definitely affects some things so we'll we'll kind of see how that goes but right now it's just a good way for me to get some good lat overload um, and then I also filmed some Swiss bar bent over rows and then that was pretty much it um, you know pretty quick day these days are rounded out rather quick um, I just kind of shoot some interesting things and things that are probably of value give me some time to talk nutrition wise carbs dropped a little bit but really that's it that's it for the week so really nothing too drastic um still good training pumps and all that kind of stuff thanks for checking in and you can keep up with this training log and everything else over at elitefts.com